about grateful and ungrateful. You see, when someone do something for you, it doesn't matter how big the favor is. You just be grateful that a favor was done for you. Do not, don't ever look a gift horse in the mouth. Now I say these things just to, let me elaborate a little more. You see, if you own a business and someone claims to be your friend and you cut your price in half and that person is not happy with it, he or she want you to cut it even lower but you cannot then they go around and slander your name they're not grateful for what you have done but ungrateful for saying things like you didn't do me no favor but I paid even though you would cut your price, whatever it may be, whether it be in your store, in your car service, in whatever, or just generous do a person a favor. You see, people, we must be grateful for all God, God blessing and for all the people that he sent in our path. We must be grateful. Um, do not do someone a favor just because you want a favor in return, then that is not um, that, that is not being given from your heart. That is basically being given just to get something in return. So let me be clear. Before you give someone something, if you're giving someone something, let it be clear to them that you're given with the understanding that you would want something back from them in return. And therefore, that is not a gift. Therefore, it is just a, how can you say, a, a fish hook on a line to catch someone, to lure them in, to get things from them over and over. So give and give from your heart. And for the receiver of this gift, if a person cannot do as much as you want them to do, you just be accepting of the gift that they give you. You see, people always want you to cut off both your arms and leg to do for them, no matter what it costs you. If you got a business or not, they want you to cut off your arms and legs. But when you said to them, all right, if that's the case, let your friend, for say, own a business and he hire you. And then when it's time come to pay you for the week, he tell you, listen, man, we are friends. So let me pay you half of your paycheck. We are friends. Would you accept that? The person couldn't answer that and wouldn't answer that. See, before you ask a person to do what you wouldn't do, be careful of what you ask. Okay, because if you will not want someone to hold you, your boss to hold you money or cut your price and pay, pay in half, you know, do not ask someone to do what you will not do. And then say, you're always worrying about your bottom line. See, in business, business comes first. Friendship, friendship is friendship, but business comes first is that where is that you cannot do what you cannot do. And when a person be your friend like two months ago, they're not your friend to begin with. Now, we're not talking about friendship as real friendship from, from, from years and you do for each other. That's friendship. Then you do what you can for a friend. But a person trying to come in your life and be a friend just two, three months and his or her friendship basically mean they want you to do for them. So you're a friend. But when it's come time for them to do for you, 
It's not about friendship. It's about something else. See, true friendship, yes, true, true friendship will stand the test of time. And it's not by weeks or months, but it's by years. And then if a friend really needs a favor, then you waive what you can. But people got to understand is this, that you can only do what you can do. And no one should ever think that you should do a favor no matter how much it will cost you. If a person asks you that, that means they're not your friend to begin with. Because a true, a true friend will never ask you to cut off your arms and legs. A true friend will never ask you these things. Okay? When you tell them that you cannot do something, they'll be like, okay, I understand. And keep it moving. That is a true friend. Okay? But when someone asks you to cut off both your arms and legs, they're not a friend. They're a user. They're, they're called a poser. They're posing to be your friend just to get things from you. You know what I mean? So my people, let me be clear. If you're doing something for someone, be sincere in your giving. And if you're receiving something from someone, be accepting of their gift and not how much they give. And do not use the word friendship to get what you want only when it benefits you because if that's the case you're not a friend you're a sponge okay let peace be your guide love and happiness pass the word subscribe